Park, going for a walk. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to walk Arch Street. Um, Arch. Arch Street. But before I get to Arch, I want to see the Love Park statue. And take a look at the statues in the, uh, this is the municipal building. Uh-oh. This was where the uh, Frank Rizzo statue was. And now it just has Monopoly game pieces. Look at this. There we go. They got these big Monopoly game pieces. And of course, we're right across the street from City Hall. I tell you, City Hall is looking pretty good today with the snow, the sun. Uh, the Frank Rizzo statue. I don't know why this is still barricaded up. The Frank Rizzo statue was on those steps. See the steps that are different colored? That's where he was. And the funny thing about the Frank Rizzo statue being here is when Frank Rizzo was mayor, he thought this was the ugliest statue in the city. And then we have, uh-oh, skateboarders. They're not supposed to be downtown. But you see all the game pieces? There's the Masonic Hall. That's a really beautiful building. Uh, I don't think they're doing tours now. That's where I go to my uh, Masonic meetings when they're not doing them virtually. Yeah, I don't know what these... I guess these are bingo and that's... But yeah, that's what we got going on here. I don't know. This is the La Meridian Hotel. If you ever stay there, just know Roddy Piper himself stayed there for a few days. You got it. You're in. There it is. We're now in Arch, Arch and Broad. This is what's near us. You can go to the Academy of Fine Arts. That's a block that way. Love Park, we were just there. Suburban Station's a block away. We're going towards Reading Terminal Market, and we're going towards Chinatown. Arch Street. Uh, that's not a line for a food bank. That's a line for Trader Joe's. Got to get your hands squirted before you shop. I bet you that place makes a killer. And uh, so what else we got? We got Chinatown, this building. Look at, oh, look at that. What's Philadelphia Lodge.
Uh oh, there they are. There they are. Arch rival to every Philadelphian. The parking authority. How bad's the parking authority? They got their own TV show. That's how bad they are. And they got these. This is a. You can rent these bikes. Um, and if you pay an extra 15 cents a minute, the uh, bikes have. Uh, I don't know how it works. I never. I don't. I really should have looked into this for the winter. I didn't want to buy a bike for the winter. But you, you can rent one of these bikes. And then uh, you pay per minute. I guess that's how it works. Uh, I really should look into it. There's the Pennsylvania Convention Center. This is where, uh, back in November, this is where they were counting the... Uh, yeah, you go, I go. Come on. This is where they were counting the uh, ballots for the election for the president. And there was all types of protests. Oh, that was a fun two, three days in the city. But this is where the convention center is. Yo! 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 Should we cut through the rented terminal market? I guess we should. All right. If you ever come to the Reading Terminal Market and you need a place to eat because you can't really eat inside right now, whammo! This is always here, it's always open, and I've never, I'm the only person I've ever seen use it. All right. There it is, the Reading Terminal Market! I guess we'll cut on through. Yo! Let's go. All right. Just gonna do a quick cut through, through the Reading Terminal Market. Let's get ready to get ready. There you go. Pretty much get anything you want here. You want flowers, you can get flowers. You want produce, you can get produce. Uh -huh. Indoor seating is back. into the guy with the scooter. Let's just walk in on him, right? Who gives a shit? Oh, it's 320, for case you're wondering.
Uh oh, oh, thank you very much. What a gentleman. All right, so that's the Reddick Terminal Market. That's the only lion's head. Eleventh and Arch. This is uh, the Chinatown section. All right, back at it. Uh -oh. This was a Wawa. Now it's a Dunkin' Donuts. That's a... A uh, new looking building. Well, that, that red uh, motif. Uh-oh. That sounds like a healthy cough, huh? Yeah, the Trocadero Theater. Where I saw my first punk rock concert. I had to walk by the truck, right? Oh, look, even the windows are boarded up. There's the Greyhound bus station. Is the old truck? I can't. Out of all the things I've talked about closing down on this channel, uh, this this one still sewer. It still says the truck. The light's still there. Yeah, that was a good spot. Nice spot for a. Uh, Shows. Friendships that last a lifetime. There's. Anybody know what the hell this says? I always wonder what the hell that said. Chinatown definitely has its own smell. It's like... It's like a produce fish smell. It's very distinct. And it's only on those two blocks of Chinatown where you could uh, get that... It's not, a, it's not a bad smell. It's just different. Ninth and Arch. Really not a whole lot going on at this section. You got a, you know, a, I don't know, parking lot over here, right? You see the parking lot, obviously. You got the, the you know, steam and the homeless guy, right? That's, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So, uh, hopefully... Usually you see a lot more, not a lot more, but you see more homeless out than than I than I've been seeing lately. So that's good. Hopefully they've been in shelters. There you go. Pretty cool dragons. Uh 
Other parking lot? Uh, what else we got? Coming up, we got the, uh, there's a prison. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, there's a subway. Uh-oh. I don't go to the subway. Go to Wawa before you go to the subway. I don't know if you watch the news, but they used to have this guy. His name was Jarrett Fogel. He was the spokesperson of the subway. Big fat guy. Real big fatso. And then what happened was he started eating subway. And he lost a bunch of weight. Uh, it was very nice. Very good story. Turns out, though, he was a pedophile. So, uh, I don't know. I don't eat subway. I don't eat subway anyway because it's garbage. But, but also because... Mostly because of garbage. And then the second reason is because they, uh, you know, the pedophile spokesman. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Toodles!